first year for you. Yeah, I mean, it's just taking it one day at a time. Uh, you know, like you said, all that stuff's preseason. You know, that, it means nothing at the end of the year. So just taking it a day at a time, um, you know, asking ourselves what we can do today to get better and ready to go Friday. That's where the mindset's at right now. You got the opportunity to have a, a full off season on baseball and only working with Sean McGrath for a full off season. Absolutely. What was this year's off season like compared to the other ones where you didn't necessarily get as much work? Yeah, I mean, it's just really good for the body, you know, just being able to, you know, take some time off and, you know, regroup. Um, you know, it's just really beneficial to, you know, go through the fall, work on, you know, just learning to be a, a four-year baseball player, um, you know, working on the little things that I normally wouldn't get to work on, um, you know, really just like a month and a half build up before a season normally. So um, just being able to have, you know, four or five months working with Sean, you know, the, in my opinion, the best pitching coach in the country, you know, is very beneficial for me. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm super excited for a season to start. What, what were your biggest focuses over the last season, things that you wanted to improve on? I mean, obviously, you know, the command is the number one thing we wanted to work on. So just incorporating, you know, the last the last four weeks of the season last year, you know, just incorporating some of those drills that we were doing, um, you know, working on the mental side of the game a lot, too, was very, was very important. So just carrying over those habits throughout this whole fall and now into the season. Brody, I think we all know that your best is as good as anybody's in the country. How do you get your best? on the mound, you know, every time you go out there? I mean, I just got to be in a, in a good place mentally, um, you know, just visualizing and doing my breathing, being able to reset, you know, and slow things down when, um, you know, if I fall behind or things aren't going too good, being able to reset was, you know, something I had to learn a lot about. So, um, but I mean, I'm not going to feel my best every time I'm out there. So, you know, I just got to, you know, go up there and get it done and, you know, put the team in the best position to, you know, succeed, so. I'd say generally speaking, you know, this group, a lot of guys on this group, can find motivation from people not talking about them, um, maybe not you specifically, but just as you guys have, you know, more expectations on you to start this year, how do you kind of keep the same mindset that you guys usually operate with where, you know, there's not a lot of margin for error going through the year? I mean, we, I mean, just being like a lot of these kids are from Iowa, like, you know, we always have that chip on our shoulder, you know, a lot of the kids, you know, probably thought they were under recruited coming out of high school, you know, baseball is probably not a, or Iowa is probably not a super big state for baseball. So we all kind of come in with that chip on our shoulder. Um, you know, when we come here and, you know, it's just kind of continue to do that. You know, we're not in the SEC. We're not playing outside, you know, in, the, in all the nice weather year round. So it's, you know, it's really, you know, manning up and getting the job done here. And I think we all, you know, kind of have that chip on our shoulder and that mentality to do so. What, what have you talked about recently? Recently? Um, um, probably 101. I don't know, probably recently. I don't know. Um, you know, that's not my biggest goal, but I mean, I'd say probably around there, I think. With so much focus on your fastball. Do you think other parts of your game get overlooked, maybe? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think you know a lot of hitters. You know, they probably are. I mean, I don't know. It's tough. You know, I don't. I don't. I w wouldn't even say my fastball is probably my best pitch. Um, what is your best just, pitch in your mind? I mean, probably my slider is probably my best pitch. But I mean, you know, I think a lot. A lot goes into it, but it just kind of depends what a team, you know, what their scouting report is, you know, whether they want to sit fastball, sit slider. It just kind of really depends on the other team, but you know, I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to go out there and do my thing. So. How much better is that slider now than maybe a couple years ago? Um, I mean, I think, you know, I've been able to, you know, refine the shape, kind of been able to distinguish between two different shapes that I want to throw. Um, so, yeah, just consistency in the shape. A couple scrimmages ago, you were throwing 98, 99, even into the 80, 85 pitch range. Do you feel more comfortable hitting those high 90s numbers for the entirety of an outing this year? Yeah, I think, you know, that was a big part of the fall, too, was just being able to get a proper buildup, you know, on the on a, on my arm, you know, just only throwing, you know, and half end of December and then in January. And then, you know, last year, I think I threw like 70, 75, 80 innings. So, like, just, you know, that's, that's a quick buildup for throwing that amount of innings. So, I kind of... You know, felt like, you know, the velo dropped off towards the end. Um, you know, my weight kind of fell off a little bit too. So just this fall, you know, I put on some weight, um, you know, built the arm up and, you know, just continue to do that throughout this throughout, throughout the year. I think it will be very beneficial just to continue to do the lifting and, and eating good. So Projections and the stuff that's out there, how do you manage that? Do you pay attention to it? Do you see it? No, nah, I mean, it's, it's all projection, man. It's, 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 it's early, you know. It's I'm, I'm worried about Friday, you know, really. Um, you know, all that stuff's way out in the future, months in advance. So, uh, I'm just trying to take it a day at a time. You guys have a, a lot of expectations for this pitching staff, you, Marcus, Kate, even even the, yeah. the bullpen guys. What are the expectations for you, for not only for yourself, but for this entire pitching staff? Um, Sean always preaches that, you know, we just want to go out there and be the best version of ourselves. Um, you know, we don't want to be try to, we don't want to try to do too much. Um, you know, just trying to take it, you know, game at a time, go out there and do our thing, not, you know, overthink, not worry about all the, you know, expectations from the outside, you know, just go out there and try to be the best version of ourselves.